Well, it's, a, it's an exciting time in computer vision nowadays. Uh, as you know, things are starting to work really well, and there are lots of different applications and things that will come in the future that will be great. And, but things haven't been always like this. So let me start with a little bit of history. And at the beginning, people were really optimistic. When people started working in computer vision in the early 60s, uh, it was, th this is a, um, a copy from the first page of a tech report uh, written by Seymour Papper, one of the founders of AI in the, in the Artificial Intelligence Lab at MIT. And he thought that vision was a very simple task so he proposed a couple of his students to solve computer vision as a summer project. And that report is the proposal to the students on what to do. So it was really optimistic. It wasn't even two PhD students. It was two master students. No, he thought it was too easy for a PhD student to do. At the end of the summer, nothing was really working. So I think they realized that things were a little bit more complicated. And then it started the vision crisis, which lasted for about 30 years in which people tried lots of different things and nothing really worked. So it was very typical to have a picture and you will train some systems to detect objects and recognize uh, scenes and then you will run it on this image and the typical output was something like this. So this was a very standard output and you have to show uh, people that it was, it was much better than what people were doing in the past. You know, and people will look at this and say, yes, it's true, it's much better. So, Things changed 15 years ago in the year 2000 when face detection started to work really well. It's probably the first object that got detected in a very reliable way. And there was lots of, and lots of papers of people trying to do face detection. And it's now being used all over. You know, any, any digital camera has a face detector. It takes almost no CPU time. It's just very efficient, very reliable. Uh, Google Street View uses it to blur faces. It's so powerful and it so, consumes so little CPU that you can run it on billions of images with almost no strong uh, hardware to do it. It blurs everything. So it just works really, really well. And there were lots and lots of advances in computer vision. So there was, after face detection became very popular, there were lots of people entering into the field of, computer, of object recognition in computer vision. And most of the conferences were dominated by per papers on object detection. Before that time, it was all geometry. And after the year 2000, it was mostly object detection. Like 80% of the papers on a conference will be all about object detection. Well, people told me that this was going to happen from time to time, that we shouldn't get scared. Here it is back. <laughs> 